Assalamu alaikum Tarek. I'm here at the vigil. Everything's okay. At noontime, there was a big demonstration. A hundred people. Scott came with a hundred people to protest against somebody whose book was banned from the library here. But when my book was banned from the library here, no support. <laughs> How come? <laughs> anyway, so tomorrow I'm going into the hospital. I'll call you from there. Not in our name. No to genocide. Other one. Uh, this is safe now. Alright. I hope I'm not disturbing you in your lessons. Okay, I'll, I'm here. Uh, I, uh, you know, was, uh, wanting to go out, you know, and uh, hang out with you and have supper together at the Indian restaurant afterwards at four or four thirty, whenever you're able to make it. Ah, uh, uh, too bad. You have. Uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Next week uh, I won't be here because I, I'm going in for an operation tomorrow on my knee to replace my knee. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to be in convalescence, you know, for I don't know how long, a week or two before I can come back. But anyway, yeah, I'm outside now. And today uh, a, a bunch of Palestinian supporters came to protest somebody else's book that was banned from the Jewish Public Library here. When my book was was banned, you know, they didn't come to support me, but for the, this other person, they a hundred people come out to protest. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no, there's no ceasefire possible, you know, because <coughs> Israel will wants to continue with the war, and Hamas, you know, they can't release all the hostages if the war keeps on going. So they're at a no. There is an end. It has to be, you know, imposed by the Security Council with sanctions. If not Security Council, then the General Assembly of the United Nations. Sanctions. And then they have to send in uh, international forces there to open up the Arab crossing. Because, you know, the Zionists, you know, fanatics, they're doing a sit-in in front of the trucks. They can't bring the aid into Gaza. And people are starving. They're crazy. So we'll have to, if you know, the, the authorities, you know, don't come in to stop them from blocking the aid trucks, we'll have to do it ourselves. We'll send in our volunteers and we'll take them out and open up the crossing. It's our, you know, direct action. No, not necessarily. Not in their name, not to genocide. Um, the, the, that, but there has to be continuing negotiations. You know, there's a ceasefire, and after that, the negotiations continue. And with the United States intervention, there's going to be a Palestine state and a Palestinian government, and Hamas is going to be in the government. You know, that's the, that's the, the uh, only thing that can happen. But the Palestinians, Palestinians did. They, they recognized Israel. We set up security coordination with Israel security. Not in our name. No to genocide. And, uh, you know, and uh, they did. You know, the PLO recognized Israel. And they set up a special police force to arrest Palestinians who threatened Israelis, even. That was with Arafat, yeah. But pa Israel did not recognize Palestine as a problem. That's the problem. And then, you know, any security concerns for Israelis, you know, there can be security concerns that are guaranteed by the international community. So if there's any, any uh, 
pogroms you know against jewish people then the international community will intervene and stop it that's the sort of thing that has to be included in negotiations but they're not negotiating seriously you know israel is asking them to give up all the hostages and then they will start the war again what kind of negotiating position is that that's who could accept that Yeah, that's right, yeah. You know, since October the 7th, Israel has arrested 4,800 uh, Palestinians. So they... Oh, of course, it is very logical. Because Israel has the powers. They, they arrest as many Palestinians as they want. They have 10,000 prisoners, hostages. You know, so. Well, of, the, of those, uh, the, the ones who have uh, who committed any violent numbers, 563 out of 10,000. That's it. Yeah. And, and there's also another uh, 1,000 who are arrested under administrative detention, no charge, under martial law, military arrest. And that's the way it is. It's, you know, an occupation. It's not, you know, like a democracy. Not in a... Negotiations, yeah. Well, they already live together. Look, they live together in Yaffa. They live together in Akka. They live together in Jerusalem. And there's no problem. You know, there's more violence between the Palestinians themselves than there is against the Israelis. No. No, no. Why? Right now there's no violence against Israelis inside, you know, of Israel. The Palestinians are not attacking anybody. Not one case. So this is proof that they can live together. They just vote for a different government, that's all. You know, that's what I outlined in my book. It's very possible. Well, yeah, Palestinians would vote for a Palestinian government and the Jewish Israelis would vote for a Jewish government and they would each take care of themselves. Oh, no, no, that's, no, that's it. That's, he's just trying to pretend that uh, Hamas is the same as is, is that, or Islamic State, yeah, Islamic Caliphate, you know, it's not the, it's just, you know, they, you know, the, you can read in their charter of 2017, you know, they're willing, you know, uh, they, they're willing to negotiate and, and they're opposed to the Zionist occupation. They're not opposed to, you know, to Jewish people, no. And uh, they negotiated already one ceasefire that lasted seven days, you know, and they respected it, so it could be done again in permanence. But Israel doesn't want to know. They want to, you know, just attack, because this is their chance, they think, because they got the bombs from the United States, so why not use them? You know? Basically, that's about it, military logic. The United States is the one who's causing the problem, because they're supplying the bombs. 1,000 pound bombs, incredible. You know, there's a one and a half times the need. Right now, they say it's for free. <laughs> Later on, they're going to, you know, after Israel, if Israel were to take over the gas fields off of the, the coast of Gaza and make, you know, a trillion dollars in profit, you know, then they'll ask for the money back. <laughs> I think I think that they they're thinking about the same, the same way to the Ukraine. You know? The 75 billion to Ukraine, you know, they're going to want it back. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. And also, it goes to the American uh, American companies that are making the arms. It's not going to the Israel military industrial complex. It's you know. For